Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, vlogs, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So it is the end of 2023. We literally have like a couple of weeks left and probably a week by the time you guys see this video. And I mean, I was blessed and highly favored this year, but at the same time, girl, 2023 get the hell off. I'm just so ready for a new year sharing fragrances and vlogs and skincare and makeup and everything with you guys in the new year. This was really hard to do but I really tried to think about the top 23 fragrances that I wore throughout the year that I was just in love with. Um, some of them are newer to my collection. Some of them I recently wore and was like captivated by them already and some of them I wore like early in the year in the spring and the summer so it, it was hard to put this together but I think we good. I'm gonna be moving kind of fast y'all because we got a lot to get through so make sure y'all keep up. I don't want to keep y'all here till next year so I'm gonna be moving kind of fast okay. So first let's start with one that was a surprise to me and not only a surprise because it's a great fragrance because it's hella affordable and that is Mercedes Benz Club Black. This is super affordable. This is targeted towards men but y'all this is absolutely unisex. It leans more on the feminine side to me and it's like a vanilla based fragrance. Fragrance. so it's vanilla and some incense a little woodiness but it's all blended so well together like this is just so easy to wear and it's got a little a little something in it with that little bit of smoky incense and I just love it and I just love that it's so affordable hate the bottle because it's hard to use when you have fingernails because of the button right there but girl I be pressing for my life okay <laughs> making sure it's all over me because I just love this so much and these are in no particular order I'm just grabbing for them these first three I'm talking about just happen to be on my perfume tray from last week so if you're not subscribed to my channel you absolutely should be subscribed so you can see my weekly fragrance trays so this one is by Khalil T and this is kryptonite so this is like a your skin but better fragrance so if you liked Tardis by Carna Barcelona or you like Glossier U like this is going to be a love for you as well because this is definitely similar to those this has much better projection and performance than Glossier U. I emptied a bottle of that. It was cool, but this was giving what I wanted. It's soft, it's powdery, it's almondy. It's like definitely a sweet type of skin scent, but it doesn't perform like a skin scent. It smells like a sweet skin scent, but it does have nice projection and nice longevity. And I have just been loving this, as you can see. Next is Bianco Latte. This has been hyped for a reason. I recently started wearing this because it was on my tray and I was like, oh, okay, you cute. You know, I have to give them some grace because everybody be hyping it up and then you get it. And sometimes you get it, you be like, I mean, it's cute, but it ain't all what y'all was saying but this is what uh, what y'all was saying I really do like it it smells nice and creamy like a, a nice melted kind of a, a French vanilla vanilla bean type of ice cream the caramel is beautiful in here like that's the top note and that's really what you get but that vanilla singing with it it just smells so good and creamy definitely not too lactonic so if you like lactonic fragrances you'll love this if you don't like lactonic fra fragrances still give this a try because I don't think this is too milky it's more on the creamy side the performance was good on it I got two compliments that day somebody just was like you smell so good and the other person said you smell like a cookie <laughs> and you really do smell like a cookie when you wear this so Bianco Latte was a yes for 2023. Let's talk about Mallow and Jenny from the House of Sora Dora. I can absolutely say that these two fragrances redeemed the House of Sora Dora for me. I received a discovery set from Sora Dora and I just was not impressed. These two were like love as first sniff, love at first wear and I'm just I'm loving them. So Mallow was the first one I had and this one is that marshmallowy sweet orange blossom fragrance so it definitely reminds you of fragrances like Oriana, Love Don't Be Shy, and fragrances like that. So if you love those, you will absolutely love this too. This has a little bit more of a citrus flair to it in the beginning. The longevity on it was good. I wore it on a really cool day and it wasn't um, like cold, but it was definitely cool and it stood up through the cool weather. And I was like, okay, Oriana, you... You, you got a you got a little contender okay Janny Janny is so good so I had a sample of Janny and then I got the full bottle of Janny this is one of those fragrances that is a gourmand but it's definitely a perfumey wearable gourmand but the gourmand is still th very much so there the baked apples you smell that you smell the puffed pastry so remember when I was telling y'all in my review of this when it was um on my tray like it smells like when you bite into a puff pastry pastry and the pastry cracks and the flakes like you can smell how that smells it's real airy like i just love how it just blends in with the baked apples but it still has a very wearable feel to it 
yeah me and Janny are going to have a time this winter and I just loved wearing it let's talk about the fragrance that shook the table for 2023 and that is none other than Ambrosia Imperial there were other fragrances that came out from Navitas that I wanted but until I got Ambrosia Imperial and experienced the house of Navitas and how they blend their fragrances and how they blend their romans I was like oh I want, I want a whole bunch of stuff from Navitas now. Navitas, Viva More, like they have just been killing it with the Gourmand game. And this was the best introduction to that house. I've never had a fragrance that had banana in it. And the banana is singing in this fragrance. And it's singing throughout the whole life of the fragrance for me. I get the booziness. I get the saffron. I get the caramel and whipped cream. And I just get all of the things. It's definitely a wearable fragrance. It has a sex appeal to it. And Ambrosia Imperial was that girl. She was definitely the talk of the town and she delivered. So when I decided I was actually going to build a fragrance collection, this was late 2021. And I decided I wanted to actually build a collection and not just have like 10 fragrances. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted a collection. So as I was watching YouTube, all the girls were talking about Gris Charnel, Gris Charnel, Gris Charnel, like throughout 2022. And I was like, I gotta have it. I had FOMO. I like felt like I mean like I have to have it everybody loves it I feel like I'm gonna love it I can't say I was scared of the fig and the cardamom I just wasn't sure how it was gonna come off but this introduced me to fig and cardamom done the right way like Gris Charnel is gorgeous the girls did not lie about Gris Charnel I feel like you definitely have to be a cardamom lover to love this because the cardamom is singing in here but it's smooth and it has a somewhat of a light creaminess to it and that may be from the fig but this is done so well great performance and and it has the popularity that it has for a reason cherry punk by room 1015 was my favorite cherry fragrance of 2023 like absolutely the one that i will reach for is basically cherry and leather it, it smells like a leather has been added to lost cherry it's not quite as syrupy sweet it's a little bit drier a little bit a little bit more tart but it still has that same vibe and then you add a nice smooth leather to it and this has just been that girl i even wore this in the hot weather at night for a day night and it was just so freaking good the longevity on here was bomb i layered it with other things and it happened to overpower many of those fragrances so i was loving this and now i have the extrait i have not worn that yet but now that it's getting cold and it's actually about to be winter time i'm gonna pull that one out and see if it's like any different from this one but this top tier I bought quite a few bond number no. nine fragrances this year but i can say that these were my absolute favorites that i bought this year the first one would be nomad i love how they have the pear and the uh, rose and the oud blended so well in here it has good performance on it it has a little bit of sex appeal to it like something a little bit spicy in there it might be saffron or something like that but i kind of smell that little bit of spice in here this is a unisex scent but to me it leans feminine i don't know if it's because of the pear or what but it smells feminine to me but i absolutely love this of, of course a man could wear it too though it was definitely something i reached for um for a date night um, I layered this with Lost Cherry for Thanksgiving. Like, girl, I was just smelling it so, so good. So Nomad was definitely one of my favorite bond purchases for 2023. I was going to pull out Scent of Peace, but I had to pull out Nolita. Girl, Nolita did the thing this summer. She, like, she really, really did. Now, when you first smell it, you're like, oh, okay, that's a pretty fruity floral. And it really is a pretty fruity floral. But the way that it just magnetizes people, like, people are like, oh, my gosh, you smell so good. Like, this got so many compliments. When I watch reviews on it, people would say that they definitely got compliments on this and they weren't lying because i got a lot with this it doesn't seem like it's like this you know groundbreaking fragrance and it's like you know so unique but i mean it just floats in the air and people just love the way it smells it's super feminine and if you want a feminine bond number no. nine fragrance definitely try this some people say this smell too designer for them i mean ain't nothing wrong with designer fragrances the thing smells good honey you're gonna get compliments and it has great performance longevity siage all of that try it ultimate aphrodisiac when i did my viva more navitas review i told y'all this was that girl and it absolutely is like if you like gourmands this is so good and it's like edible but not edible like it's edible but still kind of in a perfumey way but you have to like gourmands to like this i mean it's got cinnamon it's got rum it's got cacao butter brown sugar chocolate coffee i mean it's got all of the winter time things that you it's just got everything girl so far this is my favorite viva more fragrance they did drop a new collection and it's on the way to me i cannot wait to smell it because they just do their gourmands so well but if you like those notes 
girl you got to get ultimate aphrodisiac me and creed with flowers had a time in the spring and the summer girl we just definitely had a time i try not to spray it so much because it ain't cheap but girl it just smells so good this is one of those sweet somewhat dense florals but you can definitely wear this in the hot weather that's when it shines the most you're gonna get compliments the performance on it is great like i have no qualms about this if you like fragrances like um ysl la perfume like thicker florals you like a uh, coco mademoiselle like fragrances like that you would love this scent the florals are so beautifully blended has that sweetness like girl wind flowers did not come to play like i thoroughly enjoy it Talea, first of all, the bottle is gorgeous. It's stunning. <laughs> it's stunning. No, this is really a stunning bottle to me. Some people don't like it. They feel like it's gaudy. It's doing the most. It's doing too much. But to me, I absolutely love it. It's heavy. It's weighted. It looks expensive. It feels expensive. But the fragrance itself, this is a tropical, expensive tropical vacation in a bottle. It's fruity. It's very much so potent like girl this is going to project it's going to last like this is no joke the musk is in there for sure that tiziana terenzi dna is there for sure it takes you to a place it's very much a transported fragrance oh it's just so good it's so good it, it to me it's worth any every penny but you can absolutely get this on a discount of course i'll link it for you below 20 percent off but girl it's so so good and also Haley. like i feel like you do have to like the house of tiziana terenzi to understand the fragrances and i don't feel like they're hard to understand not for me but this has fruits and powderiness and a little bit of florals in it oh it just smells amazing the girls hyped this up so much that i had to have it and when i got my nose on it i was like oh yes they did not lie they did not lie it's so so good it's a mature floral fruity fragrance but not mature in a bad way very much so confident very much so upscale very much so you have it together type of upscale vibe and i have not even had this long like i have not even been able to experience this in the spring and the summer like i got this like on the tail end of the summer so girl this is going to be so good in the summer spring and summer in 2024 but i'm already telling y'all it's one of my faves for 2023 this is a decant i received of guidance and guidance is for me i know this was a hit or miss talk of the town type of fragrance for 2023 and i was nervous i was like oh i'm not spending all that money to not know if i love it the way some people love it fortunately this one was definitely for me this smells so good when i wore this i didn't overspray because y'all was like don't overspray it's so strong it's so potent it's such a beast and i was like okay i sprayed pretty good but i didn't spray the way i wanted to i feel like i still could have though you know what i'm saying but oh this is so good i don't really get that pear in there this isn't fruity to me it's more of a smooth it smells like it has a little incense in it i get a little bit of the hazelnut more of the rose and saffron vanilla that woody slight wood woodiness but it's a creamy woodiness like a sandalwood this smells so good on me y'all like i'm so glad i am one of the people that love this when i finish this decant i will absolutely be getting a full bottle of this like guidance was that girl for me yeah they ain't like they ain't lie about it and i i can see why it would be a hit or miss though i can't see that because when i first sprayed it i wasn't sure but when i wore it baby baby another 13 y'all another 13 this is so clean so fresh so just i just oh i just i love this this just shines in the hot weather and it just whenever you put this on you just know you smell good you know it's gonna last long all day the longevity is great on it had samples of this and i could not use up them samples i used one and was hooked and i couldn't use the other ones until i got a full bottle like i was like no i still even have a sample because i was like if i want to take it somewhere then i already got me a sample to go with me because another 13 if you like clean fresh your skin but better almost slightly clean laundry fresh but oh another 13 is that girl absolute aphrodisiac so this is the vanilla that is super controversial and i understand why that castorium note is not for everybody it, it does definitely give it like a kind of animalic feel to it but for some of us it's a sexiness it's a carnal feeling it's an attractive type of vibe it's an aphrodisiac it pulls like some kind of 
sexual type of tension sensuality into the fragrance it's not just a boring vanilla this is definitely a vanilla with some va va voom on it and i absolutely love this vanilla i've never worn it casually this is something i definitely put on when i want to put on okay i want to be smelled sweetly in a different kind of way with more sexiness to it you know what i'm saying so i don't know i feel like you should definitely don't blind buy it because it with that note you have to know that it works for your skin and works for your nose but girl this is a sexy vanilla overture overture was getting so much hype like this last like few months and i was like i got to get that because it just sounds like it just smells good it sm sounds like it, oh, I, could, I could smell it from here just waving the bottle right here i already smell it <laughs> like it's just was getting so much hype for being sexy and sensual and a little spicy and alluring and all of that and i was like oh i, I want to try it i'm scared because of that fig but you know if it's done right I, I probably like it and I love it oh it smells so good the fig is like it seems like it's the like the meaty fruity part of the fig it's not green and it, it's not green to me and it has like a creaminess to it it's like it's like a fruitier version of guidance to me oh it smells so good performance on it was so good when I say this was on my clothes for days days honey it was on my clothes for days it was perfect for date night it just smells so definitely alluring definitely want to come closer you definitely can still smell it uh, like across the table too like it's just so good it's a compliment getter girl and the bottle is even better in person it's just so beautiful just to hold it and look at it and i'm hooked so glad it's in my collection another one from zherzhoff is la capitale y'all why does this not come in a big bottle i need this in this size like what are you doing zherzhoff like come on this is so good this is the peach and the leather and the strawberry and all of that even though i feel like the peach the leather in here is blended to where i really don't smell the leather some people pick up leather some people don't i'm one of the people that don't because it's blended to perfection in here but i absolutely do feel like the leather is what gives this a sexiness it's just not a fruity girly fufu fragrance it's a fruity fragrance with some substance to it with some oomph to it with a little bit more to it and that's why i love it so much it's a little thick i feel like you could still wear this in the fall like spring summer fall because it, it, it will stand up to that i live in a cold cold climate so i don't know if this will stand up to that but i'm just saving it for that warm weather because i don't want to have a coat on or jacket or nothing i just want to smell this all over me in the nice weather and let it just project and oh it's so good it's so good y'all like how do you not like peaches and strawberry and then throw a little leather in there okay like girl Tuma Oriental by Unui Nomad I wasn't sure about this y'all because it has cypria oil in it and cypria oil can come off kind of harsh to my nose sometimes like it's really really a strong smelling almost pine needle type of oil but it's blended very well in here and it also has patchouli in here so this is super long lasting but I definitely get the rum it's boozy I get the like cinnamon and spices in here some sweetness a little bit of creaminess like this is really good absolutely a unisex scent some women may feel like this leans on the masculine side so definitely get a sample of this but this is spicy sweet creamy and a little smoky i get i guess the zipper oil and the patchouli working together gives it kind of a smoky incense feel instead of a green earthy pine needle feel love this so much so i'm so excited to wear this more now that it's cooling off even more because i've already worn it and i was like oh this is just good good number six y'all number six this is one of my favorite sandalwood fragrances in my collection it's got that creamy sandalwood but it's floral the jasmine is done perfectly in here it's not too heady it's not too floral it's not piercing like just like how i like my jasmine done blended well but definitely still in there because jasmine does give a fragrance a presence for sure oh but this is such a beautiful floral it's soft and sweet but the projection the sea eyes like the projection is moderate to you know kind of high but the sillage oh my gosh this travel be travels behind you really really well it's a compliment getter it just smells so good this is oh, so so good this for me is absolutely my second favorite from the house number five is number is my first one but when i got my nose on this i said oh that man knew what he was doing when he blends these fragrances and y'all i love 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 number six 
two fragrances from the house of Goldfield and Banks. Pacific Rock Moss. Now, I know you're looking at it like, girl, you love that you ain't hardly wore it. Girl, I had a decant of it from Royalty Scents. Then this bottle came with a full travel spray. So those got used up and then I used this bottle. So I only actually used this bottle once, but I used up both of those. I absolutely love this scent. My man also loves this scent because he shared the travel spray with me and this just smells so, so good. So I guess this would be considered a unisex scent but it's just really a clean fresh it does have a marine vibe to it for sure but it's so refined and so just clean fresh slightly a little bit soapy it just smells like mm, i just love it it's clean it's fresh and sunset hour this one was a compliment getter now this one when i smelled it, i was like Oh, okay it's cute it's fruity got a little ginger and uh peaches and you know a little fruitiness to it it's not super like it's not juvenile at all but it's like a really nice fruity fragrance with a little bit of florals in it and a little bit of spice from like ginger but girl this right here i didn't expect it to get the compliments that it got this was getting compliments this summer like it just smelled so so good it had decent longevity to me like some people say it doesn't last long for them but it did for me like it lasted hours for me a good six for sure and i was definitely happy with that so sunset hour is just a good easy reach good grab and go if you like feminine girly fragrances you would love this in the summertime in the springtime like you would you just should get this like it's just so good hibiscus mahaja this is so good so you don't even need a lot of this but you know i'm spray heavy anyway but the performance on this is so so good so this smells like delina with a little a mint in it it smells like delina with mint so it, it has that when you smell it it has that that thing that kind of opens up your nose opens up your senses and then you start smelling that rose it has a little leather in here but the leather is blended it to perfection like it almost just kind of gives it like a groundwork to it so i really enjoyed this like i said this is a good performer and it gets compliments to last all day long and people will smell you lastly i'm gonna go with rain by commodity this took me by surprise i just thought it was just gonna smell like I mean it does really just smell clean and fresh but it was just coming in clutch in hot weather i would layer this with ball that freak it got compliments layered together with that it got compliments layered i mean by itself like it's just a clean fresh kind of watery slightly floral soft type of fragrance so if you're somebody that doesn't like anything to boom in your face you don't like florals you don't like sweet you don't like all that you just want to smell clean and fresh this is perfect it's one of those out the shower type of fragrances but this one can actually go outside you know how some of your out the shower fragrances you really just wear them when you get out the shower and you kind of just be in the house with them like this can go outside and will still get compliments it's fresh perfect for hot weather like i was just loving this layering it with other like kind of watery type fragrances because it definitely has a watery nature to it for sure so yeah rain by commodity took me by surprise i was really loving this so even though that was one of the hardest videos i did all year we made it through it y'all so let me know what were your top three fragrances for 2023 because we definitely want to know okay thank you so much for watching this video make sure you are subscribed and you like this video and i will see y'all in the next one bye